Hello YouTube, this is Alan, also known as Sports Cards for Us, bringing you a recap of a personal box break that I did. Uh, this is for the brand new 2022 Panini Contenders Football, first off the line. This was available last week uh, on Panini's website via Dutch Auction, and just got... Uh, my two boxes today, I ordered a total of six, got two today, and expected to get the remaining four tomorrow. Went ahead and opened them off camera, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. And, um, you know, let me know what you guys think, how, how did I do. I think I did okay. Um, you know, obviously with a product like this where, you know, you do get five autographs is what it stated on, states on average. Uh, typically one on-card autograph. That one on-card is basically going to be your box hit. Um, the other autographs, I mean, yes, there's potential for one of those players maybe to, you know, to to become popular and valuable. I mean, over the years, we always, you know, find uh, a couple of those. But for the most part, it's that one on-card because that's going to be your, you know, your top, you know, whatever, third, I think 40 rookies or so give or take um and they're that's going to be on card now with the first off the line exclusive you do get the red zone uh autograph rookie ticket autograph and then you get one on uh, non-auto um card so the first off the line is going to be a little bit more expensive than hobby i believe when hobby releases officially tomorrow i'm going to guess boxes are going to be around 400 bucks um you guys let me know uh if uh if that's accurate, like where you where you guys are from, you know, at your card local card shops. I know on Panini's website they haven't shown what their price is going to be, but I'm going to guess it's going to be around 400 once you factor in the tax and shipping. Um, so, anyways, let's get started. And uh, as you can see, you can follow me at any one of these places. All the cards will be for sale. Uh, in my eBay store. So check my eBay store first and foremost. If you want to go ahead and check my Instagram and Facebook, I don't post a lot there. Uh, I have had in the past, but I'm not really consistent. I'll do it once in a while. Like recently, I, you know, I'll get somebody that will see something that I post on Instagram and then I make a deal. Uh, but for the most part, 99% of the time, everything gets um, listed in my eBay store uh, and then of course I do card shows as well uh, being that I am in the Dallas Texas area uh, I am a staple uh, at the big Dallas card show that occurs every other month so I, I will I usually set up there uh, and have been doing so since the beginning uh, as I know Kyle, the promoter, and the guys there, guys and gals. So, um, but anyways, let's uh, go ahead and show you what I got. So this is from uh, a sample size of two boxes. So first, these are the first off the line exclusives, red zones, short prints. They're not numbered. Uh, we got Austin Eckler. Let me know, um, you guys and gals, especially if you're a Chargers fan, should they pay this man? Should they pay him? Is he valuable enough? I know he's a running back, but he's actually running back slash wide receiver slash just a, a gamer. I mean, this guy does it all. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't he have 19 touchdowns this past season? So let me know in the comments. Should they pay him or let him go and just uh, utilize who they have or maybe get somebody in this year's draft? Next is Amari Cooper. So let's see how uh, Deshaun Watson and the Browns do this year. And then our two main hits, our first off the line exclusives. We got, a, in my opinion, one of the top wide receivers, and I'm happy to pull this, Christian Watson for the Green Bay Packers. Nice on-card auto there. And then we got Garrett Wilson, one of the, if not the top wide receiver uh, and rookie of the year, right? Rookie of the Year for 2022's rookie class. Garrett Wilson, nice on-card autograph. Uh, then we got another on-card. This was from the first box. Uh, it is a, a rookie insert, rookie roundup. 
but it is an on card number to 99. So of uh, Eric Izukanama for the Dolphins. And then from the second box, we got um, this one. Um, if you can see, it's got the rookie logo all over the background. It looks really cool. It is a sticker autograph, so I'm not sure if, you know, I'd have to check the checklist and see if the uh, top rookies, uh, the ones that sign on card, have this particular card as well that they signed, or is it just for all the other rookies that are sticker autographs? So, I mean, he's, you know, he's not bad. Uh, obviously not the top, top rookie, but he's decent. Um, Kate Auden, uh, tight end for the Bucks. So it is not numbered, but I have to imagine it is a short print. So, kind of cool. And then uh, the variation. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, if you guys uh, already know. Uh, are the variations going to be all, like, from 2016? If you remember Dak and Zeke rookie year, the true rookie was vertical. The variation was horizontal. Uh, so this one with the helmet uh, is a variation plus on the back it has a, a V right there uh, let's zoom in there we go so wonder if all the variations are going to be horizontal and then we got just the regular rookie tickets um, autographs Brandon Smith for the Cowboys we got uh, Jalen Virgil for the Broncos, Jalen Thompson for the Cardinals, Zachary Carter for the Bengals, Jack Jones for the Patriots, and Xander Horvath, Horvath uh, for the Chargers. Uh, second box did give us six total autographs, red zone being the one on card. Um, first box gave us five autographs, but two on card, the red zone and then that rookie roundup. That I showed earlier so so between five and six autos uh, seems like from the first off the line and then uh, these were just the uh, regular inserts and then I pulled some of the better players like Jalen Hurts uh, Aaron Rodgers this one's kind of cool there MVP Josh Allen I like these power players there's a Saquon Barkley, Justin Herbert. And we got the duel there. Round numbers. Trey Lance. Let me guys, you guys let me know. I'm a big Trey Lance fan, 49ers fan, Trey Lance collector. I'm not gonna say super collector, but I have some really nice high-end stuff of his. You can look at my Instagram and see some pictures of some of my big Big Trey Lance card. So I am rooting for him. I feel like if he can stay healthy and with the team that they have now, that he will start this upcoming season and he will not let go. He will be, remain the starter even if Purdy is ready to go. Uh, now, if he plays the first few games, doesn't look good, and Purdy's ready, then yeah, then that's on Trey. But I think he is gonna he's gonna go into the season. This is basically it's do or die. He's got the team. He's got Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk. He's got uh, you know all the all the uh, the players, the defense. No excuses. Get out there, do your thing. Show them why you were the third overall pick. And um, I'm rooting for you. So you guys, let me know in the comments. What do you think? you think uh, he will start the season? Do you think he will do well? Um, or do you think, uh, you know, he won't? Now, if, he's, if you don't think he's going to do well, you know, tell me why. You know, don't just say, oh, well, yeah, he sucks. Okay. <laughs> Give me a reason, you know. Tell me why do you think he will not do well with the team that they have. I feel like once Purdy started last season, Towards the end, that was the primo time. They just picked up Christian McCaffrey. The team just got on a roll. I feel like if Trey was there, he could have done just as good, if not better. I feel like he would have done better, but obviously, you know, he would have been rusty had he 
let's say, you know, came back from his injury and played towards the end of the season. But let's just say if he was there and, uh, you know, the whole season, then I think he would have made that run for them just as, as well. And um, who knows, against the Eagles, I think he could have potentially defeated the Eagles as well. So I'm looking forward to this upcoming season. But anyway, so that the rest of these just basically inserts and uh, some of the base. So, all right, well, that concludes uh, this personal recap for my break. Um, I will be getting uh, the additional four boxes tomorrow. Uh, I will probably do the same thing. I'll do a recap video, show you guys what I got. Um, so, anyways, well, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, check out my eBay store, Sports Cards for Us. Uh, it's all under this name here. And until um, next time, thank you.